Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, guys. Uh, my name is Zuni Afrilia Pertiwi, and welcome back to my video. I hope you are always in good conditions. So, before you go to my mind mapping, I will explain briefly what is politeness and instruction. First, what is politeness? Politeness is showing awareness and considerate consideration of another person's public self-image. The awareness of another face is also called politeness. It means that we get to know type of face one person has. For example, it's a bloke or introvert or extrovert, shy, thankful, modest, nice, and etc. Politeness strategies are speech acts that express concern for others and minimize stress to self-esteem in, in certain social context. Politeness uh, adalah tindak tutur yang mengungkapkan kepedulian kita terhadap orang lain dalam suatu konteks tertentu. Politeness in instruction can then be defined as the, mean, the means employed to show awareness of another person face. So the second is phase one. The notion of face as public self-image plays a major role in every culture. It shapes the character of a speaker as well as how he or she is perceived by others. It refers to emotional and social sense of self that everyone has and expects everyone else to recognize. And in pragmatics, face is our image in front of the public. And the third is negative and positive face. Negative face is the one of every competent adult member that his action be unimpeded by others. Positive face is the ones of every member that he wants to be desirable to at least some other. So positive face ones are defined into two ways. First, one D1 hand. They prefer to a person's desire to be accepted and approved in a certain group. And the second, on the other hand, to the appreciation of the self-image by others. Now, this is also means that a speaker goes in a conversation has to be accepted or even desirable to the other speakers in order to fulfill the positive phase one. The next is say something on and off record. On record, without aggressively action or badly. If a person goes on record when uttering an FDA, the intention is unambiguously expressed and therefore clear to all participants. If one goes on record, one can express the FDA boldly. For example, in the most conscious way possible to utter something. Example, please make a copy. And for on record with redressive action. If a person goes on record, goes on record with redressive action, it means that she or he expresses an utterance while trying to contract a possible face damage for the hearer. This way, the person use politeness to soften the FDA. With the help of positive politeness, the hearer positive face is strengthened. As the speaker assures the hearers that she or he likes him or her. For example, Oh, you make such a good coffee. Would you like to blah, 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 blah. Negative politeness, by contrast, is oriented towards the hearer's negative face. For example, his or her potential threat of losing personal freedom of action. Therefore, the hearer shall respect for the hearer's negative face once. For example, I'm sorry to bother you, but would you like, would you like me making me coffee? I'm doing like that. So next is off record. If a person goes, goes off record, 
there is no more than one possible intention attributable to the speaker. For example, she or he cannot be blamed to have committed to a certain intention. For example, uh, I'm so tired. A cup of coffee would help. Something like that. A frequent politeness is a politeness strategy that relies upon implication. This strategy is very indirect and involves the breaking of conversational norms to imply a particular recommended course of action. So the next is positive politeness. Positive politeness are intended to avoid giving offense by highlighting friendliness. These strategies include juxtaposition criticism with compliments, establishing common ground, and new jokes, nicknames, honorific sections, special disorders, maker, markers, and group and in group terms like, for instance, in popular. Feedback strategy is the feedback sandwich, a positive comment before and after a criticism. The reason this strategy is often criticized in the management circle is because it is, in the fact, more, about, more of a polite strategy than a useful feedback strategy. Positive politeness dimaksudkan untuk menghindari kesan tersinggungnya lawan bicara kita dengan menonjolkan keramahan yang kita miliki. Nah, pada strategi ini termasuk memberikan kritik dengan pujian, membangun kesamaan antara pembicara dan lawan bicara, lalu menggunakan lelucon, nama panggilan, jargon dan slang dalam sebuah percakapan. And negative are intended to avoid giving offense by showing different. The strategies include questioning, hatching, Presenting, dis presenting disagreements as option. Nah, sedangkan negatif politeness itu dimaksudkan untuk menghindari memberikan pelanggaran dengan menunjukkan rasa hormat. Strategi-strategi ini termasuk dengan mempertanyakan melindungi nilai, menyajikan kesepakatan sebagai pendapat. So, the next is sales and other say nothing. Example. How different interpretation associated with different expression used within a speech event. So when you arrive at an important lecture, so you want to take notes, but realize that you have, but you don't have a pen, and there is a person sitting next to you. Just you just have one choice. First choice: say something or not. Rummage in your bag. Search through your pocket and go back to the bed. Or the other person offers the bed. So the last is pre-sequence. So what is pre-sequence? First, a pre-sequence is a sequence that is used to introduce a conversational accent. And often prefigures a particular short of action and secures the addresses operation. And the second, a pre-sequence is the specific turn that has the function of prefiguring the coming action, the coming action. So in pre-sequence, there are six parts. There are pre-announcement, pre-arrangement, pre-closing, pre-invitation, pre-request, and the last, summons and spurs. So... I think enough for my explanation today. I helped you understand well about politeness and instruction in pragmatics. Um, so I just apologize, guys, if there are any mistake. So thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you in next video.